and I, I remember those days, you know, attendance compulsory. <laughs> that really was something. You know, attendance compulsory means you will have this boring guy come up and drone on, okay? Just like uh, he droned on for a bit, okay? So, what I want you to do is, if you find this session, this session is not a seminar. I think somebody described this as a seminar. This isn't one. This is a workshop. Do you, does anybody know the difference between a seminar and a workshop? Anybody? Sorry? Yes. So, we are going to have problems put up here. Right? And you have to arrive at the answers. Okay? I am just a facilitator. You have to arrive at the answers yourself. Because answers that you arrive at yourself, hopefully you will remember. Rather than this wise words of freedom coming, uh, wise words of wisdom coming from a white haired guy. Okay? And these are my natural hair. I still have some black hair left. Okay? And I, I just noticed when the attendance was being taken that there are at least two big celebrities in this crowd. One I heard, one is obviously the new kid on the block. There is a Mr. Yogendra Yadav, the Chanakya of Yap. Yeah, can, uh, at the risk of embarrassing him, can, can I ask him to stand up? <laughs> oh, but his attendance was marked. So you mean we have already had a desertion, is it? Okay. And I have a relative in the crowd. I heard somebody called Room Okay. She is not here either. Okay. I, I, I think when you are a Runta, you don't need to get into the workshop. You know about money. Let, let's hope that's true about all of you once you leave this. What we are going to talk about is money. Okay? How many of you want to make money? And the rest are going to join up? <laughs> or NGOs? Yeah? Okay, what we are going to do? We are going to talk about some of the things that help you make friends with money. Okay? And if we learn our lessons right, hopefully you will be a little more friendly with money at the end of this workshop than you were before. <laughs> we have a live tweeting, I know, I, I see those thumbs going all the time, right? So you can use them to win a prize. That, that is the hashtag he was talking about. There is this hashtag called Pesa Mera Dost. Okay? Or uh, don't do the Facebook one. If, if anybody of you is on Twitter, you can tweet while this is happening. You're going to tweet and talk and go on messaging your friends anyways. You can do this as well. And for the best tweet, so that is the class participation. Okay? With that hashtag, okay, and and the judge is right there. She is going to be judging it, not me. So I mean, when you want to point it out, you have to point it out to her. And please feel free to ask questions, participate, etc. Everything is counting towards the big prize. Okay, this is the first question. How many of you have been to New York? Okay. How many of you have heard of New York? <laughs> How many of you have heard of Manhattan? Right, everybody. So Manhattan is the Nariman point of New York. Okay. Uh, do you know? I mean, it used to be obviously the Red Indians owned it. Way back in 1626 when white men first set on that island. 387 years ago. Right? Somebody guess the price at which Manhattan, Manhattan is the At least for the white man. For? No, no, so I am asking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good one. Was this a white man cheat the native Indians D? Was it or not? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. How many people say yes? That white man cheated the natives by charging 24, by paying only 24 dollars. <coughs> Two, three, four, okay, 
five, six, okay, in a class of 106 people. Okay, how many people think that the native Indians were the smart guys, you know? They charged 24 dollars for something that was worth cents. <coughs> how many people think that? How many people think that? You can't, wait a minute, you, this, you know this up fashion can't work that we will not support the BJP and we will not support the Congress. You, you have to take a stance. So let me ask this quickly again. How many people think the white man got the right side of the deal? How many people think that? Right? Okay. And? Now the rest of you have to raise your hands. How many people think the natives got the right side of the deal? How? Oh, we still have a lot of apites here. Okay. So a lot of people think the white man, uh, more people seem to think that the white man got the right side of the deal than the natives. Okay. Let's see. I, I don't think it was a bad deal for the Red Indians at all. Okay. It wasn't. Let me tell you. Okay, and if I was to make that statement, what would be the reason? Can somebody take a guess? <laughs> the immigrants still had to bring up the island of Manhattan, they still had to work in it. Okay. So, the, I mean, it was paid for jungles, yes. So it was worth much less. What you are saying is it was worth much less. They were just move, paying them to. <laughs> to get out of this place, we will use this now. Yeah. Yes? Uh, the land was actually worth nothing because you know now New York is a very important port. Right. Very yeah. important economy right. because of that strategic location. But yeah. then it was land. There's just another island there, right? Yeah. Of course, there probably, and, and I think there were no bikinis then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another way, another way to look at it. Yes? The land was their ancestral home, so they did not actually pay the first time to have lived in there. They only gained the money that they... Ah, that's a nice thing, okay. You say, <laughs> what he's saying is, okay, they had got it as an inheritance, okay, hadn't paid anything for it, okay, so whatever they got was a bonus, okay. What, have, what are you inheriting? What's your name? So, you inherit a flat worth 10 crores and you're going to sell it off at 10 lakhs because you paid nothing for it. <laughs> you won't, right? It was just a piece of land. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a piece of land that was not developed. And probably they were moving out, so they just sold it. And okay. So, let me give you another spin on this. Okay. Just take a guess. If this 24 dollars <coughs> had been invested, okay, at 8% per annum, okay, how much do you think that 24 dollars would be worth today? Take a wild guess. 1626, 1626 to 2013, okay, so that, you are talking of 387 years. 387 years, 24 dollars invested at just 8 percent. Guys, you are supposed to work this in your head. Does somebody have a magic formula for this? Does somebody have a finance? You guys are finance students, you don't have finance calculator. Yes? I, I was wanting a finance calculator. We have the right answer. What's the right answer? I don't know if it's right, but uh, I think we will divide 24 by... <laughs> 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 It could have grown to 177 trillion 